Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Friday special. Um, today, I have six packs of the 2020 Tin of Lost Memories Mega Packs. Uh, no tins, uh, not this time. These I purchased online for actually a pretty good price, so I don't know if there's any way to, like, weigh these mega packs and pick out the good stuff and I'm just left with the chaff that's left over. Uh, who knows? Um, anyway, I'm still looking for a number of cards, actually, from these uh, Tins of Lost Memories. So maybe I'll get them here. Who knows? Um, if you've seen any of my previous Tin of Lost Memories openings, uh, you will know that I really like these packs. They are full of super cool stuff, and, uh, you know, Jelly Cannon uh, speaks for itself, really. Now, what I'm looking for is the um, Pot of Extravagance. Uh, we've also got this F.A. Shining Star GT, Witchcrafter Creation, and I believe next up, a Pot of Extravagance right here. Boom! Well, it's Neos Fusion. I mean, it's a spell card, and... I mean, you see this card all the time in Duel Links, right? <laughs> yeah. We've also got this Dirge of the Lost Dragon, uh, followed immediately by Red-Eyes Dark Dragoon. Uh, or Infinitrat Goliath, uh, a close second. Very close. And White Aura Minoceros is our rare. And we've got... You know, other random commons that we have seen time and time again. Because I have opened many, many, many of these mega packs. And maybe, just maybe, I'll be opening a few more uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, Dwimmered Glimmer, yes. Fun names to say. So, foils, come on, what do we got? We got the uh, Time Thief Winder. Oh, Zerzeal, Ruler of the Evil Eyed, and Hwa, Guard Dragon Pisty as our uh, Prismatic Rare. And of course the Super Anti-Kaiju War Machine. And Win the Wind Charmer Verdant as our two Ultra Rares. Uh, let's just put those in the proper piles. And Crusadia Testament as our Rare. And, you know, more more commons, Time Thief stuff, Infinitrack stuff. I'm pretty certain we've seen all of these commons before. Uh, check out my earlier videos. There's a couple of them for these uh, Mega Packs. Infinitrax, Time Thief Flyback. I go into a bit more detail in them than I am right now. So we've got this Marine Cess Blue Slug as a foil. Super rare. Test Panther. Oh, hey, they're both Link monsters. And what is this? This is Draco Berserker of the Ten Yi as our um, prismatic. And there's the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Oh, boy. Yeah, that is, um, I mean, that is the card to get right now, isn't it? Um, it's not, it is not cheap. So I'm happy to get one, uh, with this Witch's Strike. So I have pulled many a Dark Dragoon in my day, and I'm never unhappy to see one. Uh, chain Hole? I actually don't think we've ever seen this rare. It doesn't ring a bell for me. Oh, and I dropped that one. Got it back. Yeah, Guard Dragons and Nebula Dragon. Cool name. However, and here's the thing. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon? Not the card I'm looking for. Now, Valkyrie Fünfte. How about you show me the cards that I'm actually wanting to open here? Uh, that would be helpful. Uh, Nightmare Incarnation Idli. Wailing of the Unchained Souls, and right here is Destiny Hero Dominance. Followed by Fusion Destiny. And Marincess Coral Anemone. Oh, I don't know if we got the Anemone before. Maybe we did. It's not one that I've recognized. Not that I've memorized every card I've opened. 
And we've got another Marincess, the uh, Crystal Heart, if I can get it into the light well enough to read it. And Time Thief, Infinitrax, Guard Dragons, Crusher Run, among other things. Well, we got two packs left. These Friday special episodes are always just sort of short episodes that I make as I have piles of random packs to open. Just little, little special episodes to tide you over until Sunday where I open something uh, a little more substantial. So here we've got an Unchained Soul of Disaster. And Witchcrafter Madame Vare. Another one I recognize from Duel Links. And right here we have Shaman of the Ten Yi. All right. And Marincess Coral Anemone again. And Witchcrafter Masterpiece. Oh, look at that. And Barricade Borg Blocker. A cool little Link monster that I actually use in my uh, Barrel Dragon deck. Defender of the Labyrinth. Oh, this is another card I like. I, I genuinely wonder if you could make a good, normal monster deck. Anyway, right here. This right here. This is the last pack. So, um, we have not seen any Pots of Extravagance yet. Uh, or, uh, there's a couple other cards I'm looking for. But, maybe this is gonna be the one. Let's see. Let's see what we got. We've got an Overburst Dragon. And we've got a speed lift. Well, here it comes. What is the prismatic card? No, uh, it's another Draco Berserker of the Ten Yi. Really? Okay. Well, we got a we got a duplicate here. Uh, followed by another Infinitrack Goliath. And Strength in Unity. With a Marincess Wave as our rare. And Infinitrax, Guard Dragons, Unchained Twins, Dino Wrestlers, etc., etc., etc. So, let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at all the cool stuff we opened here. So, these are the super rares. Uh, I feel like there aren't really any super rares that are particularly valuable in these tins. Ultra rares, of course. Um, there's there's one ultra rare in particular that is worth a lot. Uh, this red eyes dark dragoon and uh, you know Infinitrax stuff. I do like the Infinitrax. Infinitrax are cool. Let's put those up there. And the prismatic rares, which unfortunately this time uh, I don't think we got any of the massive hits. Well, maybe Neos Fusion's not too bad. It seems to be a cool card. But, at the very least, they are absolutely gorgeous to look at. I love this prismatic foiling. And I'm really looking forward to uh, whatever they come out with this year for uh, the tins, whenever they're released. But anyway, that is the end of this episode, so if you enjoyed it, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I do hope that you join me again next time for my next unboxing video. Till then, ta-ta!